I'm going to make a pendant today and what I'm using is a collage sheet that I have. I've printed this out on uh, waterproof paper so that my glossy accents which I'm using as an adhesive doesn't seep through the paper and make it dull. Um, I sell these in my Etsy shop. They're digital downloads or you can buy them pre-printed on the polyester paper. I'm using a one by two pendant tray and a piece of glass that matches. This is 24 by 48 millimeters and then I'm also going to be using a jelly roll clear star pen to add some little clear sparkly elements. The clear star pen does not change the color, it just adds a little bit of sparkle, but you do want to make sure that you dry it after you put it on, otherwise that sparkle will migrate. Just takes a couple seconds to do that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually attach the glass to the image before I put it in. That doesn't seem like it makes sense. It seems like you would put the image in first. But what I find is that the image will pull away and create some bubbles if you don't uh, attach it first and then attach the image in. So these glossy accents come, uh, you usually always have to poke the top. I'm just taking a T-pen and poking the top. I'm going to apply my glossy accents to the front and then I'm going to push my image, my glass, down to the image and I'm going to push enough that it comes out the sides and all the bubbles come out. I'm going to push it down like that and then I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to glue that into here. Actually this is printed on label paper so all I have to do is peel and stick it into there but I'll be back when it's dry. Okay, so that took about 30 minutes to dry, or at least set up so that it's not pulling away from the edge. But I am going to add a little bit of adhesive into the tray itself to just secure. So this is more of the glossy accents into the tray. And I'm going to flip this over and put it in. Now, Normally what I do is I put the image down in there first and then glue the glass over top. But what I've found is that when I do that, I have to use so much glue so that there's no pockets of air behind um, that it, you know, it's too much glue. So I found that gluing over top first, allowing the glue to set to the glass and then gluing the image with the paper inside uh, allows a much better coverage. So there you go.